Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, we're uh, Ryan hopefully- Ryan keeps trying to block me out. No, I'm not, look, there you are right there. Hey guys, it's Bill. So what we're doing on this video <laughs> is we're gonna set a cab on top of a frame and then try to make it look a little bit more like a truck. Sounds like a great idea. And maybe you hook the motor up and drive it to the shop. No. The engine. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Somebody made a comment in the last video about the whole motor engine thing and made oh, a really good. On. They you made a good point. Motor Speedway, thing. Motor Sports. I mean, what now? They That's were all drunk when they came up with them names, okay? They're I, all running moonshine and sipping it. I have a fighting chance on the motor engine thing now. <laughs> Barely, thank you. I don't remember the su the subscriber's name on the thing, but you you gave me ammo. Yeah. Well, good job. <laughs> I've got nothing for it. <laughs> I've got absolutely nothing for it. <clears throat> anyway, guys, we're putting this truck together. Yeah. And we're gonna drive it back to our shop. Cold trickle style. Maybe without a hood. Actually, we're driving it back to the shop without a hood. It's There's definitely no going maybe. without a hood. It's because, definitely. Because Mark still has to paint the hood. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's definitely going without a hood, and it's gonna yeah. be fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm hopefully go really fast. Hopefully we make it. Ricky Bobby back here. <laughs> All right, guys, follow along. It's gonna be fun. All right, here we are. Project Legendary. We are getting real close here. Brian thinks we're gonna be able to set the cab on. Hopefully by the end of the day. Right? I don't. I don't even think he said hopefully, did he? Brian, it's it's not hopefully by the end of the day, is it? It's just it's happening. At, it's, it's, the, before the end of the day. It's it's just going to happen, right? It's, yeah. it's it going to run today. today. It has to happen. All right, we're under a time deadline and it is going to happen today so Brian what do you think is is it uh is, is everything ran 100% properly is it all going to work it'll work you've, you've you've got a lot of confidence in this it always works I have confidence in Brian well that's, that's where you uh, messed up buddy <laughs> <laughs> that is a bold bold move <laughs> not really Brian does a good job but yeah, as you guys can see, I think it's not that's gonna pay out real well. <laughs> as you guys can see, I've got the engine in. Everything is going relatively smooth this morning. It's all looking great and nice and tidy. These stainless lines are like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Instead of having your standard, you know, airlines like you know this stuff over here. You know, you see this on every single truck, right? And the reason they replaced it all is just because uh, it just goes along with the the color schemes, you know, the color theme a lot better. So all the airlines have been made this stainless braided. And, man, these guys are doing such a nice job running this. This one I'm worried about. I think this Not seen work this clean on anything ever. So excited to get this thing up and going. This truck's going to be awesome when it's done. And then, later today, we're setting the cab. That thing's coming. It's going to be on this truck. And then we're going to be uh, hopefully turning a key and making this bad boy run. making it to the moment of truth here. They have just now pressurized the fuel system. They've cycled it a couple of times. Got the bowl full. I think they're getting ready to turn the key. See if everything we put in there is in the right spot. Hope you guys got everything where it's supposed to go. Thank you. 
Get her some more fuel. Pool. Some more pressure. Crank some more battery juice to it. There is a whopping 73 miles on this truck. I think each individual part has 72 miles on it. Well, we worked late last night, Real got late. up early this morning, started working again, yeah. and we just pulled this thing outside. She's ready to go. I mean, this thing is a show stopper. We done, right there on the doors, we did the, we, we shaved the door handles. I think that's a nice touch. I like the color we picked for it and the randomness. Yeah, it, well, we wanted people to make sure they knew we shaved the door handles, so we yeah. used the, we, we went with yellow. Yeah, I got the little, popper thing a little clicker yeah shaped like big bird <laughs> anyway guys uh yeah so there's a chance of rain we got to be out of this shop we got to get back to the new shop and well um this is as together as a truck is gonna be and we're gonna drive it back like this cold truck old baby so you know i mean i don't see anything wrong with it, it looks fine we got we got everything like zip tied and cleaned up. And, I mean, so far we've it's, driven it. We've driven it thirty feet and it looked it, everything worked fine. I think that's closer to seventy, maybe even eighty. It might even be a hundred foot. So I mean, it's like ready for the highway. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do to this thing, but man, is it coming together? Yeah, it's now awesome. Now you can see the sun is just starting to hit that corner. Yep. Oh. The colors on this truck changed dramatically with some light. And it's freaking awesome. But, you know, I mean, she's ready to go. Thank you. Oh, another nice touch we did here. Uh, we want to change it up. 
went with the Freightliner wheels in the back. <laughs> the round holes in the front, man. That's a uh, Troy Huddleston tribute right there, okay? Troy Huddleston tribute. Troy, that's for you. Look at that. We put some wheels on it just for you. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I mean, I hope you enjoy the ride. I'll follow you. All right. You got no windows, you got no hood, no windshield wipers, no door handles. What's that mean? It's lightweight racing. Don't. And don't try to pass me. <laughs> I'll rub you. Oh, man. I mean, we keep going this rat rod thing with them ugly wheels we've had on it forever. And now we're going to drive back a shop with no hood on it and different mismatched wheels and the whole nine yards. What do you think? You like it? Sure. Her I think it's the sexiest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> not me? No, not you. <laughs> hey, don't you get that early quit. Oh, dang it. There he goes. That's just a level valve. He's got to adjust it. There you go. So the truck made it back. We didn't have any issues. Uh, everything went as planned. No problems, no air leaks, no nothing crazy. And uh, we're now, well, we got the fenders back off this thing and we're finishing up a few pieces in the back. Put on these super sweet Fox shocks back here. Um, kind of button up the last few little things in the very back of this truck. And uh, you can see we already got the rails on for the fifth wheel, so now we just got to put the plate on and the actual fifth wheel and that stuff. Um, back here, we've already put the lights in and Bill has been in working really diligently on the inside of this thing, getting the rest of the Dynamat uh, insulation and all that stuff put in here, which is gonna make a humongous difference with how quiet and how well it'll hold, like just insulation, like heat and cool stay a consistent temperature pretty well but cabs painted and it looks freaking this paint looks awesome we're getting uh we're getting somewhere folks we're getting somewhere um rest of the floor inside of here has been done and uh the next step will be to start putting interior in here um paint shop still has the hood right now so we're hoping to get that back in the next couple of days and um, then we just got all of that to do so most of the wiring the way we want it on the engine is done the paint shop still has the turbo they're painting that and we're waiting on a few other parts for the turbo to come back and uh, currently you know since we started working it kind of looks like a mess but um, we're making headway on all of these pieces and everything looks like we're gonna make it to mid-america no problem at all um, oh yeah, we have the cab lights on too. So now we got visors and mirrors to put up there and, uh, we're getting there. We're freaking getting there. Center panel for the, the back is now fitted and ready to go. So we'll take that back up to the paint shop and we're going to paint that. That'll go legendary red. Um, and we got a center panel between the tanks to still do and the shock box cover for the back. But... I don't know. I feel good. It's been uh, it's been a little stressful lately. We've had we've had a lot going on with this truck and just the kind of the timelines of getting things done. But it looks super sharp. I can't wait to get this thing completely finished and then go pick the trailer back up, bring it down here. We actually still have a few things to button up on the trailer before the show as well. But that's like maybe a day, day and a half worth of work, and it'll probably be the last thing we do. But over here, you can see we got our deck plate back over here at the shop the fifth wheel 
to the back of the bumper. Obviously fenders, but we drove it here with the fenders on it. So yeah, we are making headway. And uh, I don't know, we'll just kind of keep plugging along at this and get as much done as we can because we are running out of time. Like we're really running out of time. That's it for the video. Cold Trickle here made it back to the shop. Woo! Yep. Didn't even hit the pace car. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that Juan Pablo? No, he hit, a, he hit, a, he hit, the, he hit the jet dryer. The jet dryer, yeah, that's right. The thing exploded. Yeah, I did. That, I was, that. that was fun to watch. That was yeah. an epic deal. Yeah, um, hey, look, we're, we're, uh, we're making headway. Oh, yeah. I mean, I may be in this truck with like a screw gun. Uh, maybe all of us, like, uh, we'll be putting it together on the way. But I mean, we'll, well, I guarantee we're going to be putting some things on at Louisville because we just... We do know some things are... We do know that's going to happen yep. because it's just taking us so long to get some certain things that we forgot to get. Yep. But so. it happens. But it's going to get done. Yep. And that's, that's what happens when a truck goes into a million pieces and then... You know, you move a couple of shops and then, you know, some yeah. stuff happens. And I can honestly even... say I have taken trucks apart before, but I have never taken one this far apart. <laughs> it's really far apart. And I can't yeah. wait to do the next one. But it's going to be in a couple <laughs> of years because I don't want no part of that right now. We'll finish this one first. But guys. Um, really? At least two weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. All right, well, anyway, you guys know what to do. you got to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. At Semi-Casual Show. And then check out our website. we got some really sweet swag that none of us, none of us are wearing. Have on. Wow, yeah. that's, that's Anyway, <laughs> you know, it's what happens. We're, we're like limited sleep and just we're half delusional, but we're, we're getting there. We're going to make it, and uh, we're going to just work all day and all night till we get there. Exactly. We're going to make it. Yeah, we're, we're going to use it. every last minute of the deadline we have. So Basically. We're yep. going to come in to running the... Uh, the slow motion the torch sale. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we're getting loopy. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye.